Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today's an exciting day. We got the beautiful 2013 SL550, and AKA, we call her the Synthetic Oil Protection Machine. So today we're doing the brake pads, and we're doing them way early, because if you get your pads worn down too far, you'll wreck your rotors. So come on over, we're gonna put the pads back, and you have to do a whole procedure here on the computer. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna to go to power one position. Now we should be able to hold both. There we go. So I held the phone first for a second, then I held okay. And after about three seconds, it pulls this whole thing up. So all we do is scroll down with the thumb button and we go down to pad replacement. So now we're at pad replacement, you hit okay. Uh, move to fitting position, okay. So that's it, now you can hear it moving it. And now we can get out of the vehicle. And that's it. Now it's stopped. So now it's gonna stay in that open mode so we can actually push the caliper back. Because in the mode before, you're never gonna push that caliper back. Right, so we got saved by our snap-on giveaway these pliers are so darn skinny, we're able to hold this little teeny weeny inside bolt. So what we're doing is we're holding this inside bolt right here. This is the toughest part of the job. And then this is our half inch right here. And all we do is crack this sucker loose. So now we go, let's see, right here. Crack her loose. That's it. We got her. And then as you go, you're just gonna have to make sure you hold that because it's gonna wanna spin it. So I'll show you what I mean by spin it, take a look. Now, once you're here, it's just gonna spin that whole thing. So you need- So these are our two half inch bolts, real easy. We got them off now. We had to hold it with both of these. So now this should just slide right off, easy as pie. Absolutely easy as pie. And this right here comes off. All right, so now everything's pretty easy from here. We just pop off our pads. And you can see we still got some life on these pads, but it's a whole lot less money to uh, replace um, the rotors than the pads. So we're doing the pads for next to nothing. I think these really good high performance evolution stop, what are they, power stop pads. I think these are their highest uh, model. I think there was, these were like 80 bucks. So when you think about it, pretty inexpensive. This other pad here, and that's it. That pops off. This pops off here. Sometimes they get frozen on there. Those are old hardware kits. Get rid of that. We've got our old pads. So as you can see, they're not quite done but we're doing it way early. All right, and now we clean her up, and this is what we call Niagara Falls in a can. The Amsoil Brake Parts Cleaner, professional strength. And uh, this stuff inspires so much confidence, it's unbelievable. So here we go, take a look how dirty that is. And now we just, we clean her up, we spray inside this caliper here. Just like that. Now we spray on this side. And now we just spray this right where the little things slip. Up here. Up there. There. And there. It's got that much punching power. All right, I'm pretty happy with how clean she is. We're gonna clean up these rotors a little bit. You see these little holes, all the little drill holes, they're all dirty. So here we go, we'll blast them a little bit. Okay, our little sliders go on. This pressure fit right in. Just like that. Just like that. And just like, let's see here. There we go. There we 
we go. All right, another important thing, always remember to grease your pads. So we're gonna go ahead and squeeze a little grease on here. This is our old pad. You can see where the metal touches. Wherever the metal touches is where you want the grease, and that way you won't get any of that squeaking and all that vibration. We're also gonna, not only are we gonna do here, we're gonna do our other side, and we're gonna do right here where it slides on this slider right here. That's called our slider. We're gonna go ahead and grease that up good. So we get a little grease, we hit our sides, and then Right. One of the parts that's a little bit of a stickler is turning back the caliper. Basically, you put this C-clamp on, and once the C-clamp's on, you're pushing this piston back. And you can do it all by hand. Now, if you don't return the auger inside the electric emergency brake, you'll never be able to push it back in. So now all we do is just go until it bottoms out. You don't have to go hard at all. That's it. It's bottomed out. We take the clamp off. It falls off. And now... We just make sure our sensor goes back in here. That has to slide inside there. And as long as that goes in correctly, we should be bulletproof. Another point of due diligence, make sure these pins are sliding. These should be able to slide freely, really, really easy. They're nice and they glide well, so there's nothing to do with them. Now we, uh, we just unpopped our sensor. The sensor was plugged in right here. It just pops right out. We just used the little pliers, so you can use a little needle nose pliers. So now we're going to bolt her back up, and then we're going to put our sensor in. Close up. Before you put this in, make sure it's not corroded, and you also want to slide it in first. I use this little pair of pliers, and I slid it straight down and in, and then it just, once it was in, then I popped this in. This just pressure fits straight in. There's no special tools, and that's it. Another little subtlety I love is the MP metal protector. This is a penetrating oil and an anti-rust and uh, really helps everything run smoother. So what I like to do is I just hit stuff that usually rusts where it hooks to the rotor. I hit my threads, everything threads on easier. And then uh, we're gonna head to the front, but the front are really easy because there's no uh, emergency brake. So it's the same thing. You wanna double check your pins. You wanna make sure your sensors aren't corroded. Uh, do your due diligence, take your time, make sure everything's greased up so you don't have any squealing brakes. And that's going to do you real good. All right, now all we do is throw it back into the regular position. Fitting position reach to exit, just hit OK. So all we do is just tap OK. It's going to put it right back into the regular position. It's done. That's it. Fitting position has been exited. Hit OK. And she boo boo. All right, we're out and about trouncing around and we're gonna break in our brake pads. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to uh, do the front brake pads. I got the wrong brake pads for it. This is the AMG Sport brakes. So it's got the uh, 360 millimeter rotors. The other one is uh, 342 millimeter. Uh, so we're gonna follow up and do another video with the uh, doing the front brakes. But um, the back brakes, I would give a difficulty on a scale of 1 to 10, a good 7. They were pretty pretty challenging, especially doing it on the ground. It's a little bit of a stickler. But now we're going to break it in. So we're going about 30 miles an hour. And we're going to go down to 5. So here we go. We're slowing down. And now we're down to 5. And now we're going to speed up again. We're going to get some real good heat in the rotors without stopping. So we're not going to come to a stop. You don't want to let all that pad material sit in one place. So there's 35, and now we're gonna go down to five. Now we're back at five. Now we're gonna get back to 35. There's 35, and now we're back down to five. And now we're gonna make a right, and we're gonna get these good and heat soaked, and that's spreading that pad material all over uh, the rotor, and the pads will be all nice and broken in and that won't allow your rotors to uh, warp as easy. So if you have too much pad material in one spot, you can get this pulsation and some funky stuff, uh, which is, uh, you definitely don't want that. And then also making sure all your lug nuts are um, uh, evenly tightened is also very important because if your lug nuts aren't all the same torque, you can warp your rotors too. 
So now we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna go ahead and get her up to about 35. Now we come down to five. Now we're gonna do it one more time. I think that's the fifth time. That's pretty much it. Um, that pad material is spread even all on the rotor. Now we're gonna drive for about five minutes and we're not gonna come to a complete stop. We're gonna make sure uh, these suckers start to cool down. And uh, that's pretty much it. The whole break-in process is done. Good to go. If you love this video, slap that thumbs up button. Go ahead and slap that sucker if you love this piece of content. And uh, remember, we got about, oh my God, we're almost at 30 videos on the synthetic oil protection machine. Everything that we do to my car, you can do to yours. And I want you to check out that playlist here. And we will see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.